Hey y'all, I'm here today with another massive sticker haul and I have one, two, three, four, five different shops to show you. Um, so I am just going to get started. I'm going to save it these for last and then I'll get started with Scrubber Prints Co. first because that is on the top. But I just have one hit, so let me get everything out from here. But I do have the Spells and Pastels Ultimate Kit. So let me just take it out of the bag really quickly. But I do have, because how she packages her orders are the kits are in their little bag, the little cello bags with the sticker on it that tells you what kit it is and then any like extras or add-ons for the kits are packaged separately. But I do have the little journaling card. So that was a little add-on for me. I'm not really sure what to call it. And then you have the little Scribbler Girl freebie. And then I do have Kirsten's PR sampler. Um, because my order was, I think it, it's $30 or more. If you put her code in, then you get her little sampler which is all like glitter then you have the bows planners candles hearts and then the little um kirsten scribbler girl then you have two labels one for class and one for work and then you have if you were in the first 200 orders then you got the little bows so i happen to be in the first 200 orders whenever this kit was released so you just have a row of just the bows and then a row of the um, bow paper clips which I do like how this is in the same pattern as the spells and pastels kits I have that as well and then just to show the add-ons before I actually show the kit I do have the personal sized washi add-on because I do plan on using this kit which I don't even know when I'm going to use it yet if I'm going to use it on a Harry Potter related week because it is a Harry Potter themed kit or if I'm going to use it just on a random week throughout the year. I do plan on using the leftovers in my inserts. So I do have the personal sized washi and then I have the glitter sampler that has the glitter headers, a po skinny apartment labels, flags, and quarter boxes, and then I have the a la carte girls which each four girls represent the different houses of Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And then for the actual kit it's itself you have the kit freebie which has your Movie marquee, work labels, plan next week, fancy pattern labels, film edit and upload label, and then your like cut out functional stickers down here, and then your munchkins. And then for the kit itself, I can't think of what what to call this, but for the kit itself, you have the hidden flags, the deco with the four girls which are like the four girls right here for the extra full boxes are right here as part of the deco then you have the large icons the scribbler girls which are harry potter themed like one has a wand another is on a broomstick and then you have the flight tracker happy mail new releases and cancelled stickers and then you have the functional page which has the two weekly ombres, weekend banner, 
flags, appointment labels, mini icons, two mini three heart checklist and single checklist and in the background of the checklist are little like lightning bolts throughout. And then you have the habit tracker label bill due and quarter boxes and half boxes page. And then you have the pattern washi and headers page. Then you have the label solid washi and little things. Then you have the ombre heart checklist, which again have the lightning bolt in the background. And then you have all of the full boxes. Um, <coughs> excuse me, which they are all very, um, like Harry Potter related. Like you have one with all of the houses on it, all the books, um, the Marauders map, the nine and three quarters, and then you just have a couple of like plain, or not plain, but just simple flowery boxes, which I do like how not every single box is has something Harry Potter related because I think that will kind of help balance out the kit. And then you have the extra full box, bottom washi, and date covers. So that is everything for the spells and pastels kit. And that is everything for Scribble Prints Co. And then next I'm going to do, let's see, I'll do Creating and Co. next. So again, I just have one kit. So first you have the little journaling card as well that says make your dreams happen and then on the back it just has um, what's the word? Um, just kind of like a thank you for your order and to if you share any pictures on Instagram to use hashtag creating and co and that they also have their own website just basic info so there is that and then there is a regular creating and co freebie which this one isn't all green so you have a YouTube binge a new release sticker an Oscar with a laptop and coffee cup an Oscar reading a like game night sticker and a I wouldn't say this is like the podcast or like recording sticker so there is that and then we have the um and I can't think of what this kit's name is but it's like the um I can't remember if it's pool party or it's like the summer her new summary themed Kit, but I do have the a la carte glitter sampler which has three of the glitter header colors and then you have some glitter scallop labels and glitter quarter boxes and then you have the first page which I think if I'm correct her kits are going to be changing format so if you happen to get any of her newer kits which I don't think the new format comes out until the 8th of April um but this right now is her current format so if you get any of her newer kits that will be released it'll be a different format than this but the kit right now just has the deco up at the top and then you have all the like functional stickers and you have the Oscars and the date cover-ups and then you have the functional page of the checklist, new releases, half boxes, cancel stickers, weekend banner flags, scalloped labels. Then you have the headers, little things, and habit trackers. Then you have the full boxes which is has to be my favorite part of 
this kit. So you have the box up here that says chillin' and grillin' with a cola, a hamburger, and some french fries. And then down here you have it what looks like a little margarita and then you have a quote box that says summer and then the one in the middle says every summer has a story and then all the other boxes are they either have the cactus and flowers or they have the little um the little floats because like I know like last summer you would see a lot of people with like the big giant like unicorn floats or popsicles and so I just I think I'm going to use this kit the week that summer technically starts so that's like June 20th 21st the week that that is on that is when I plan on using this kit and then you have the uh, bottom washi, regular washi, and quarter boxes, and then you have the ombre checklist and the weekly ombre, and then dots down at the bottom. So that is the kit from Creating & Co. Again, I can't remember what the name of it is. I think it's like poolside or pool party, something like that, but it is still in her shop right now. And then I'm going to do a little this papery next which um this is actually I think my second order from little miss papery but I think the first time I ordered was back in like 2016 I think like when I first started 2016, 2017, somewhere like when I first first started planning. Um, <clears throat> that was whenever I had first ordered from her, so it has been a while since I had ordered from Little Miss Papery, but I do have this little journaling card that just says spring, a lovely reminder at how beautiful change can be. So you yeah, have that, and then when I placed this order, it was during the uh, Valentine's Day sale, and it did take a while for the kit to be sent out, which is completely okay with me, because I don't think I'm going to be using this kit for a couple more months, I think. Um, but she did send out a sorry for sending your order late little sampler which I think this is in the princess theme I think but I'm not completely sure but you just have a bunch of half boxes quarter boxes that are both solid solid color patterned and glitter and then you have a couple habit trackers and next week and this week buildos flags we can banner and some little stars and then for the actual kit, which I did pick up the full kit and then I picked up a couple of add-ons because I do plan on using this kit in my Erin Condren and also in my inserts as well. So I want to pick up, um, pick up enough items to use for both of the planners but I did get the Texas themed kit because I figured I do live in Texas and I do really like the colors and patterns of this kit but you just have the little like deco sheet that has a girl and a bunch of other deco like the passport shoes flowers different items like that and then Here's another freebie with some dots, a laptop a rescheduled nope, a two dollar Tuesday, a little Miss Paper reorder, a little star and new releases, and then an Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and computer. And then I have the glitter headers, which are like they're glitter headers, but they're not glitter headers, but I just I love this texture that was used and I like how 
I think. I think this is a texture that's actually in the cake, which I like how she used that as opposed to using like a different glitter texture, which like I wish there were more kits that had this kind of like sequiny glitter texture to it. So I can't wait, wait to use these glitter headers. So I have that and then so okay, flip everything over. Um and then I have the little things, the headers, and then for the first part of the kit you have the um three heart mini checklist, a few um fork and knife icons, a flag, and then just like a whole bunch of other like little functional cutout stickers and you have a one weekend banner, a few icons, a few larger like wordy stickers, another weekend banner, a me time, a movie marquee, a lazy day, a planner, and then like a couple more um like other functional stickers and then you have the half boxes, quarter boxes, then you have a few more headers, a couple little things and a little label, a couple habit trackers, bill dues, and next week of this week a weekly ombre and then another flag. And then you have the um, full boxes with some labels down at the bottom. And then you have the ombre checklist which you have the full size, the weekly ombre, and then you have a couple of mini three heart checklists. And then you have the other functional page that has single heart checklist, half boxes, quarter boxes, and then date covers and date dots. And then you have the um, washi page. You have your regular washi, bottom washi, and then strips that would be meant for the horizontal planner, but you can use in really any planner you like. Some dots and then some more deco. And then I picked up as an add-on the horizontal boxes because I figured I'd want to use these boxes whenever I do my the plan with me in my inserts. And then you have, because these are horizontal, the boxes are just a bit smaller. So there is an extra row of quarter boxes down at the bottom. And then I didn't mention what the quote said when I showed the full boxes earlier, but this one says, be your own kind of beautiful. And this one says, the road goes on forever and the party never ends. And then, because this is a Texas themed kit, you have the little state of Texas right there. And it says Texas there. And then I picked up the, um, like the fitness add-on. So you have all the workout stickers more habit trackers, some little charge stickers, meal little things, a weigh-in sticker, some fitness related headers, and then you have another weekly ombre, a hydrate tracker, a couple bill dues, quarter boxes, and then these like cutout stickers and font stickers here are very fitness related. So you have like a dumbbell, a bike, yoga, um, and then you have like lift heavy, squat low, different, like I said, fitness related items like that. So that is the Texas themed kit. So that is everything from Little Miss Papery. And then I have my Coffee Monsters co-order, which is a pretty good sized order. Um, if I can get the little card out. Come on. Come on, there we go. So first off, we have the little journaling card, which I did get a little bit that just says 
Hello Spring, and then on the back you have where you can put the little the coffee beans right here. You can fill up the sampler here, which I do have another car that I think I have more than halfway filled up but this order will definitely have filled up that card and then probably most of this card as well that you would just once you fill it up you would record the date of completion then take a picture and then send it and for your next look for you to get a sampler on your next order so there is that and then I have the little Coffee Monster Co. freebie so you just have a couple of little emojis, a McDonald's cup, a to-do header, and then a little glitter quarter box with an emoji peeking out of the side. And then I got quite a few little emoji stickers. I'll try and go through these pretty quickly. So I did get all six of the emoji heads. They just have the emoji heads part one which are kind of the more like happier emojis the part two which are the more like sad and upset emojis which this one has to be my favorite right here and then this one here kind of looks like um like when you're having to take a really bad poo and, and you make that face so those two probably have to be my favorite out of this sheet and then part three which is kind of a mixture of like angry happy upset and then um so there is that one and then part four which is kind of another mixture of like happy upset and then um the little This one right here, they don't seem angry, but they seem kind of like, um, what's the word? Um, it's like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Um, kind of like sure, whatever. So these are really cute as well. And then you have part five. Which the one on the far right has to be my favorite with the little like dizzy eyes and then how would I describe these um these are kind of like the upset the happy and then like the more upset and then like the crazy one and then part six which is also another mixture of the different emotions and then and then kind of like how the last one was the crazy eyes, this one has like the X's over the eyes and then like these ones are like, it's like sure, whatever face. So those are all the emo like emotion emojis. And then I have the sad emojis. And then I have the terrible day emojis, which I love how this one has the little Friday to the 13th calendar with it and then I have the uh, stress emojis which the one with the blanket around them and the candle is probably my favorite of them and then I have the uh, single Pringle and then um, I love how this one is like what is love and this one is eating chocolate and candy and then I picked up the pen and pencil emojis just because I figured I could use these to mark whenever not when I bullet journal every day but whenever I like do my monthly bullet journal because I know they're like bullet journal specific stickers not just from the Coffee Monsters Co but from like other shops as well but they're like they're the TNs or they're like the actual like bullet journal stickers so I figured this would be 
better to use um, because I do use an Erin Condren, um, not an Erin Condren planner, but an Erin Condren little like journal as my bullet journal. So I figured using the pen and pencil emojis would be cute to use cute to use when marking doing my bullet journal and then I have the game night emojis part one I never saw a part two so I don't know if part two is just coming out later if I just completely missed it but I like how this one has the little monopoly man the uno cards dice and then just regular card game which I love playing Monopoly, but I haven't played it in a while, so hopefully now since I have these game night stickers that I'll be able to, like I will have a reason to play Monopoly now. So I have these, and then I have the Dog Lover emojis, Then I have possibly my favorite sheet out of all of these, the Bubble Butt emojis, which I don't know when I would ever use these, but I had to get them because they are just so stinking cute with their little bubble butts um which like I really don't even know which one is my favorite because they're all just so stinking cute and hysterical and then I got the uh, rainy day emojis and then I have the uh, spring emojis which I love how this one has like their little lemonade and then it's all like flowers and gardening and very spring and then I have the spring cleaning which I like how even though it says spring cleaning like I could use this throughout the year to mark any like big cleaning task and then I picked up one sheet of the piggy bank emojis to mark my 52 week savings challenge because I am getting low on my um on the ones I have for my munchkins so I figured I'll probably use a couple of these for a few weeks and then maybe like, kind of like rotate back and forth between the two of them so I just got one sheet of those for right now and then I like how I can add in like how much money into the little space right there and then I got the Asian doodles they just have different like Asian foods like ramen cup of noodles like takeout sticker of course these are stickers but like the takeout box and then you have and the other variety of the Asian food doodles um excuse me so I picked up one of those and then I picked up the junk food emojis which why not and then I picked up the sweet to the emojis because again um why not which this one right here is very much me stuffing all of the candy in my mouth and then I ironically had to get the healthy food eating ones so I have those as well and I love how this one's like donut or apple so I have these and then I picked up the uh, Starbucks emojis and then I picked up the uh, tea lover emojis. So that is all of the emojis that I picked up and that is everything from Coffee Mo from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then next I have um, the Paperly Boutique. So I'm just going to do one order at a time so this order here first I have the little PR girl freebie so this one is Caitlin's freebie so you just have a payday a coffee a little planner and a bed all of which these are doodles and then you have a new releases couple half boxes and um appointment labels I almost call those quarter boxes but they're appointment labels and then everything in here is all of my monthly 
related stickers. So I have the like Easter themed monthly kit. So you have the top labels that would go up on like the top two pages. I have the month and then the days of the week. And then you have the skinny labels to mark um, anything that takes up like more than one day. And then you have um, some labels, icons, and then the if I can grab it. The second page has your check boxes, more labels, date dots, bill dues, headers, paydays, full boxes, and then you have the strip. Or not the strip. The sheets that have the strip that covers up the days that aren't in the month. And you have the headers, more labels. And then you have some like cut out functional stickers. And then one thing she's starting to do is the deco sidebar, which I think like normally I would put the checklist on the sidebar for the monthly, but I think anything that I used to put in the sidebar, I'm actually going to be putting in my notes pages, so I really don't want to have a blank sidebar, so I like how she's doing the deco sidebars now, so at least I can have something in the sidebar, but then it won't be, like, I won't be having checklists that are blank, so I really love this, and I like how there's a little bunny rabbit popping out of the teacup, so that is the April monthly kit, and then... I think what I plan on doing is, unless it's a kit that I just, I really, really love, is the monthly kit for the Erin Condren and my monthly kit for my So Much Crafting. I want to get in two different, like have one planner be one theme and the other planner be a different theme. But I think the theme for my inserts and the thing for my notes pages are going to be the same theme and that way my notes pages and my Erin Condren theme won't match again unless it's a theme that I just really really love but I did get the other theme for my so much crafting insert so you just have it and then she had a kit with this theme early early last year but I can't remember what the kit was called. I want I think it was like a mystery kit is what I think it was but I love how how I'm able to get this in a monthly themed um in a monthly themed kit and also in the notes pages which I will show in a second but you just have the side washi the little strip that covers up there's like a strip and the inserts that this would go and then you have a little flag a april banner some full boxes and stickers to cover up the days that aren't in the month some little half boxes labels holidays and then you have little mini icons and the date cover-ups and then for the notes pages you just have which I do like how her note pages aren't like month specific. So if I wanted to, I could use this in a later month, but I'm going to use this in April. So you just have the note page header up at the top. Then you have the four circles and then some little script headers that you can put like on the top or bottom or, or wherever you want for the different circles and you have little arrows and dots and then you have four check boxes which has a space to put um headers that you can either write in whatever header you want or on the next page you have a bunch of headers here so I know I'm definitely going to be using the spreads header just because I used to track my 
spreads in my monthly but because I'm going to be going to be moving that into my notes pages I love how there is the spreads sticker right there but if there wasn't I'd probably use like a this month header and then you have the task and habits which there are four different sections that you could use um so like if you have anything you want to track monthly that maybe you don't track in your weekly habit trackers then you can put them right here i just need to figure out exactly which ones i am going to use for that but that is everything for this order from the paperly boutique and then the next order which this one just came in which I love how she put the order in this little like rose gold foiled little baggie which I don't that looks rose gold to me I don't know if it is but I love, like this is just too cute um But this is actually two orders combined into one. But I do have, because this was two orders combined into one, I do have two more of the um, PR Girl freebies, which I think I now have all the PR Girl freebies. I do have Nikia's and Hasty's, which are the same format as the one that I had just shown, except for the colors are different and then the cutout, or not cutout icons, but the little doodles are different. Like this one has a bow, a little TN planner, a, um, I guess this would be like a journal or like another planner, then a coffee cup, and then you have a lazy day, a TV, a nail polish, and a Netflix and a chill. So that is why I have two of the PR Girl samplers. Normally you would just get one PR Girl sampler with an order, but because this was combined, that is why I have two of the PR Girl freebies. But as for what came in both of the orders, I did pick up a few of her, like I picked up one kit and then I picked up a few of her like $2 doodle days and then some of her doodles that had already been released that I wanted to pick up. <clears throat> so you have the little pizza doodles which I do have another sheet of like her old pizza doodles but I love how this one's like. I guess it would be the pepperonis in the shape of hearts and how like the cheese is all melty. So I had to pick up another, like another pizza doodle, but um, like there's a, a difference between this doodle and then the one, her older version of it. So I had to pick up one of these and then I picked up one of her just like plain bows, which are all in different sizes which I love but then I also figure because this one is like doesn't have any color in it maybe I could like color it in to maybe match whatever kit I'm using or <clears throat> or I might use the bows to mark like orders coming in or like to tr mark tracking her mystery box or anything like that so I have those and then I do have the bows that are in kind of the more like springy color um <coughs> oh, excuse me so the first row just has like a blue and like a very very light orange and then the second row has like pinks and purples and then the third row has like yellows and greens Excuse me. So I do have these to use as well. And then I picked up one sheet of the like neutral black and gray new release sticker. And then I picked up one of the multicolor 
in the releases as well. And then I did mention that I did get one collection. So I did get the home collection. And this is in the big book of boutique. So it comes in the book. You have the full box with the quote that says, let's stay home, a weekly ombre, a couple habit trackers, headers, and then some appointment labels. And then in the middle, you have the flags, three heart ombre checklist, bildus, quarter boxes, half boxes, little scalloped banner, arrows, larger appointment labels, two um, full boxes, almost call them half boxes, but full boxes, and then another ombre checklist, and then the last page has your mini three heart checklist, icons, like functional deco stickers, and a weekend banner. And then I picked up, or not picked up, but the books do come with an exclusive double box that is already a part of the kit. You don't have to buy extra. So you have the double box here. And then everything else is add-ons that you can pick up a la carte. So I have the glitter headers, which I know that I'm not going to be using every single color because I'm going to be using this kit in my inserts, but I figured with how neutral the colors are that I go ahead and pick up the whole set of glitter headers. And then I have the a la carte add-on full boxes, which I, I love the coffee one right here, and I love how it's like from dark to light in the coffee. So I really love that. And then I picked up the personal sized, <coughs> excuse me, the personal sized washi. Because you have the option of personal size and Erin Condren size. So I picked up the personal size. And then I have um, the book doodles, which I am getting back into reading. So I figured these would be really cute to pick up. And then I picked up, I already have, this is from, I think the, oh, what's the kit? Like travel or something like that. I can't, I can't remember the exact travel adventure. Again, like I said, I can't, the name is not coming to my mind, but I already have the personal sized washi like this and matte, but I figure because this is, this is the same like clip art and pattern as the Texas kit from Little's Papery that I just showed a few minutes ago that I would pick up this in glossy because everything else is in matte, but I would pick this up in glossy too whenever I use the Texas kit from Little Miss Papery. I would have this to use for my personal insert. So I have everything from the Paperly Boutique. And then the last but not least is the March Mystery Kit. Okay, I just had to change my battery out really quickly, so there was a weird cut that was why, but this is, I think, the March mystery kit from the Paperly Boutique. <coughs> so let me grab everything that was in here without getting all these little swirlies out everywhere. Um, now one thing that was in here was um, an airhead, but I of course obviously always eat them right when I get them, <laughs> but this is a very like 
April showers themed kit. <coughs> Excuse me, which I really love. But one of the extras was a sticky note pad, which has a little flower in the corner, which this kit, um, not this right here, this is the um, kit, not kit freebie, but there's always at least one featured shop in all of the boxes, and this is the featured shop right here, but the kit itself right here was entirely drawn by Alex, the owner of the Paperly Boutique, so this little flower right here was drawn by her. So you have that, and then for the, like I said, the featured shop, it is Panda Bird Designs. So let me, I'm actually going to take this out of the, um, I don't want to tear the bow, but I have to tear the bow. Um, I'm going to take it out of the cello bag just so you can see it a bit better. But you just have some little, like, um, four different rows of kind of like little like decorative half circles with little bows on them and then you have two each of the four colors of a girl on a laptop which I absolutely love this because I do a lot of stuff on the computer so having this to mark that is really cute and then he has some like glitter appointment labels so I'm going to go ahead and just place this back in to the solo bag so that was from Panda Bird Designs and then for the kit itself You have the uh, kit freebie that has the extra full box, appointment labels, half boxes, and new releases sticker. And then you have the uh, first functional page that has flags, large icons, your functional deco stickers, formal label, three heart ombre checklist, payday flag, random headers, and day habit tracker. Then you have the uh, second like functional page that has more flags, your sidebar stickers, have more habit trackers, another three heart ombre checklist, and then you have the quote box that says happiness blooms from within. And then you have the weekend banner, single heart checklist, little arrows, buildos, appointment label, and more headers. And then you have your labels, quarter boxes, and half boxes page your little things and headers page, your um, ombre heart checklist page. I almost call these weekly ombres, but these are just regular ombre heart checklist. And then you have your full boxes, which my favorite probably has to be like the boots and the umbrella. Like those two are my favorite. And then like the uh, flower that was on the sticky notes is right here and I love how there's like four with like a main object in the box and then the other four are they're just patterned and nothing in them so I think that will help balance out the um the kit whenever I do use this which I will be using it sometime in April and then you have the regular washi, bottom washi, and then the uh, strips that are meant for the horizontal planner, but can be used in really any planner. I know I like to use at least one strip layered over top of or on the bottom of the regular washi. And then you have the date covers with the date dots and then some labels like quarter boxes and half boxes and then you have the glitter sampler with all of the glitter headers glitter um 
appointment labels, quarter boxes, and half boxes. So that is everything from the Paper Lay Boutique. So then we have, again, everything from the Paper Lay Boutique from Coffee Monsters Co. Little Miss Papery. Creating and Co. and Scribble Prints Co. So hopefully you can see everything. Um, <clears throat> but that is going to be it for this haul. I almost called this a play with me, but I'm pretty sure this was a long haul. Definitely over 30 minutes, so if you like long hauls, then you can thumbs up for that. But also, if you liked this video just in general, you can hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, like how I use these stickers, then I think actually after this haul goes up, I'm going to be having the April monthly go up as well well so if you want to see um like more videos like this and you haven't already subscribed you can hit the subscribe button down below as well and i will see y'all next time bye